The red pill hasn't taught me anything useful about women. 100% nothing helpful about women. Idea I have, I'm gonna start a wife school. I love it. Yeah, so we're gonna turn 304s into wives. Let's, let's stop. <laughs> so that's let's, first. That's my first idea. Can we can we stop right there? Or, or okay. do, do you want to go through all the ideas? No. You you ask me. I'm, I'll tell you. Like all, I want <laughs> I want to talk about that one. Don't forget that one. I want to talk to you about that. Yeah, one. yeah. I going. got you. I got Keep you. Keep on going. I got you. We're having my, fun, guys. My second idea. My second idea is um I'd like to run for an office someday because I feel like for in order the laws to change for men, women have to do it. So I love and it. And if this was pro's world, I'd get rid of birth control. I'd ban it, but I, that'll never happen. A lot of the men won't like that. If a lot of the men, that's my guy right here. He said, "Hell no, nah. you yeah. don't get rid of that, baby." Yeah, Keep if this goes. is if this is Pearl's world, I'd ban birth control. Yeah, I, like I think that's the root of all evil. Uh, and like and I'd actually go further. I'd go further. Go ahead. But, but say I'm, it. I'm kind of say extreme. It. Say it. I I don't I don't, say I don't think women should vote. No. Huh? I don't think women should vote. Lord Jesus, keep on going. <laughs> yeah, that's no it. women, you can't vote. No birth yeah. control. Yeah. Keep it going. Yeah, no, because it's always freedom oh without God. responsibility. And I so, love like, it. The women reason, should not no, vote. Pearly said I'll it you, herself. I'll tell you why, though. I'll tell you why. Because it's freedom without responsibility. I love and before this. women, like the the con like I believe in consequences for your decision. So the men know if they vote someone bad shit crazy into power, you guys get drafted. We don't. Women decide elections where 55% of the population. I think if we want to vote, equally draft us. Y'all want equality. And personally, I don't want to get drafted, so I'll be in the kitchen. She said <laughs> women no voting. Let's go. I want more solutions. <laughs> Keep it going. Yeah, Bernie. yeah. Okay, no, I'm not going to vote, but then I'm going to run for office. Pearl, like, wait. <laughs> what just happened? I think you just contradicted yourself maybe four or five times in the same sentence. I digress. Let's move on to the next clip because this is just going to get even better. I want to keep on saying it. Mm -hmm. A lot of the red pill arguments are true. Mm -hmm. A lot of them are true, mixed mm -hmm. with a whole lot of lies. Mm -hmm. And and they, and we have to be honest, there is an ideological bent and mm -hmm. there is a for-profit bent for the ideologies. Mm -hmm. But if we're simply going to stop there and not mm -hmm. do, do a deep di dive and analyzing the study, mm -hmm. if we don't sit down and, and analyze every single statistic number mm -hmm. and juxtapose it with the leading experts in the world who are also studying mm -hmm. these things, we don't have a full, complete message mm -hmm. to share to men and women mm -hmm. for the benefit of society. Mm -hmm. Because to me, if we're genuinely saying mm -hmm. that the red pill message is mm -hmm. the truth, mm -hmm. if it is oh. indeed the truth or an attempt to convey the truth, that. the truth should only make society better. Mm -hmm. it should only make men better. It should only make women mm -hmm. better. It should only create a better world for mm -hmm. us. Mm -hmm. And so to me, when I see an ideology, when I see a praxeology, whatever you're calling it nowadays, mm -hmm. when I see a worldview and I'm looking at it and I'm analyzing it and I'm, and I'm understanding it and I'm seeing all people who are leaders in it mm -hmm. and I'm seeing the inconsistencies mm -hmm. in what they say and what mm -hmm. they do, I'm, I'm saying that there's a deeper conversation with the numbers mm -hmm. and there's a deeper conversation with this type of information that is not being discussed. And I'm glad we're doing it right. Whew. I don't think he breathed one minute during that. All right. So I, I want to, first of all, talk about this for a second, because the one thing that I've learned and I have evolved as a creator, as most creators do, we start out, we don't think that we're going to get big and then we do. And we have to remember to monitor some of the things that we say. I um, I empathize with uh, Mr. Tate in that arena. Rolo, you know, reached, we, I reached out to him when I was an early creator. He wrote me back personally. I know it was him because the conversation that we were having, I was very, very new to being a creator and he was a class act. He was respectful. He was a very nice gentleman. And not to mention the fact, Rolo, if you're watching, you're kind of a dilf. I digress. Here is the problem with the red pill that I have. And this was actually a conversation that I want to read to you from a follower that we've become friends. He is a very handsome gentleman in his 40s. Uh, he provides feedback for me and we have a great dialogue about men and women, just in general. We talk all the time. He provides me feedback on the content and he's just a great person. I asked him what he has learned about women from this space, from the red pill space. Honestly, this is his response. It's a little, it's a little winded, but just hang in there with me because it is a brilliant response. Honestly, nothing I didn't already know. I've been dating and single since 2013 after divorce. The red pill is just saying out loud everything I've known to be true, but you can't say it if you, if you want a woman to date you. Probably true. 
You're an extremely good woman and I think good women like you don't want to believe that most women aren't like you. Thank you. Most women aren't dating with similar intentions as you and I think it's really near impossible for you to see it, feel it, or understand it. So the red pill is an echo chamber for men's private thoughts, which I agree and it's totally great. And validating all of our experiences when we date, not just my experience, but a lot of men's experience. What I enjoy most about these red pill people is them encouraging men stop blaming everything around them. They are saying to take personal responsibility, no one care about your feelings, go get money, go get fit, and get off the video games. Get motivated, don't worry about women until you get your shit together. Be happy with yourself, get confident, masculine energy is healthy, not toxic. So for a really long time, men have been told to wallow in your feelings and be soft and sad. That being born, we are from formed incomplete to evil because of testosterone. I've been told by people I'm supposed to trust that I'm a natural I need to be more feminine, so I'm not a danger to women. Just got being a man. I don't know. <laughs> Just not being a man, I think that's what he meant. It's real, Sarah. So it feels really good to hear people tell me, even at 40 years old, that being naturally manly isn't dangerous. And I 100% agree. If, if that's all that Red Pill was doing, then that is a beautiful message, beautiful message. But my response to him was, let me ask you again, what have you learned about women? And I said, what I teach about men is one, they want loyalty. Two, they crave validation and affection just as much as we do. Number three, to get men to do things, positive reinforcement works better than negative, and the list goes on and on. I teach about the idiosyncrasies and nuances about when men so that women and men can both understand. And I also teach about women. I said, I'm asking you, what has Red Pill taught you about what women need and require and want in a relationship? He said, the red pill hasn't taught me anything useful about women. 100% nothing helpful about women. The point is, is that the red pill does nothing to bridge the gap or educate you on what healthy relationships look like. And that's my problem with it. Now that you know that, you can possibly find other sources of information if you want to actually have a meaningful relationship with one. I don't know. I, I, I'm... I have my beliefs, I respect some of the things that they're trying to do, but my, my beef with it is that you hear the same statistics over and over and over again. And what I'm trying to do is actually help, actually bridge the gap. If we don't understand men as women, then we need to learn. We need to take the time. And if men, you're, you keep striking out with women or women keep disappointing you, guess what? What did I say? What do I always say? My platform is built on personal accountability. Look within yourself. Because if you're the common denominator in all of your relationships and they keep failing, then there's something to be said about that. Women and men both have different struggles we both are faced with our own pain, our own prejudices that we have to deal with on either side. My point is we're not gonna get anywhere with just blaming one another. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed. If you wanna book a call with me, click the link in the description and I'll see you on the next one.